a big wingman, <clears throat> excuse me, a big wingman, welcome to the wingman's path to positivity, to raising your vibration and to creating a life of your choosing, right? What could be better than that? A life of your choosing, right? I thank you and, and appreciate you inviting me and all us wingmates in to share a spark of positive energy. Because one thing I've learned, the more of us that share that spark, the easier it is for each of us to hold on to it and to share it with our loved ones and our friends and our families and our neighbors and to, to really surround ourselves with positive energy. And that is really when life starts getting easier. You start seeing the path to creating a life of your choosing. So I welcome you. If you're new to the path, my name is Michael Gross. I'm the lucky guy who gets to be the wingman on the wingman's path to positivity. I welcome you. I thank you. And I congratulate you for finding your way here. Because there's one thing everyone on this path will tell you. It is a path that leads you in the direction of creating a life of your choosing. So I welcome you and I thank you and I appreciate you being here. Let's get to today's practice, which is a quote from Frederick Nietzsche. Said, Nietzsche saying, if you, stare, if you gaze long enough into the abyss, the abyss is also gazing back into you. And it, it came up yesterday because Jan and I are watching this TV show, this German TV show on Netflix called Dark. I don't know if anyone's been watching it. It's, it's a bit strange, a little bit of time travel about a small town and how it affects a small town. And it's a pretty dark show, and, but it's been pretty interesting. And last night it started with that quote from Frederick Nietzsche. You know, if you stare long enough into the abyss, the abyss is staring back at you. And as soon as it came on, like it just hit me and I was like, ah, you know what they're saying there. And I took it to mean, and maybe you have a different meaning for it, but I took it to mean the same thing. Our spiritual teachers, you know, Jesus, Buddha, Gandhi, whomever you want to pick, have been telling us forever. What you think about expands. What you focus on expands. What you think about, you become. If you gaze long enough into the abyss, the abyss is also gazing into you. You know, it reminded me, and I've been saying it since, it reminded me of when I first got started, when I first sort of discovered the wingman's path to positivity and, and started doing the practices. It started, uh, you know, it, it was early on, I happened to be um, co-hosting the Talking Angels radio show, and we were interviewing a woman named Vashali. Vashali, Vashali with a V. And she was an intuitive and, and, a, and a channel and a medium and, and she was a little irreverent and we had a lot of fun. But one of the things, her tagline, what she said a lot was her mantra, I would say, you are what you love and you love what you give your attention to. And it's sort of the same thing. You are what you love you, and you love what you give your attention to. And she would say, you know, if you're worried about money, then you love being worried about money. If, you, if you're stewing about a relationship that you have, then you love stewing. And I remember when she said it, I remember thinking to myself in much more colorful language than I'll use now, that don't be a fool. Make sure you give your attention to something you love. If it's true, and this is, I was new on the past, so I was asking myself that question. If it's true that you are what you love and you love what you give your attention to, then make sure you give your attention to something you love, right? It's the same with staring into the abyss. If you're staring into an abyss, you have to watch out that you become that abyss. That abyss takes over you, right? You know exactly what I'm saying because so many of us have focused on the wrong things in our life and allowed those things to take over our life. And instead of us living a life and leading the life of our choosing, somehow we get caught up in the abyss, right? We get caught up in the abyss because somehow we end up staring into the abyss. If you stare long enough into the abyss, say it with me. If you gaze long enough into the abyss, the abyss will get, is, is gazing into you as well, right? Say that a few times. and. and uh, the quote is actually written at the top here, but so I may be butchering it a little bit, but I'm getting the meaning. If you gaze long enough into the abyss, the abyss is also gazing into you. Remind yourself to focus on that which you love, on that which you want, on that which you desire, on your goals, your dreams, your desires, where you want to go in your life. Stop focusing 
on the things that are going to take you down. Because what you focus on expands. I could say it as simply as that. What you focus on expands. Remind yourself of that. Say, say it with me. What you focus on expands. It's easier than saying if you gaze into the abyss long enough, the abyss will be gazing into you. What you focus on expands. If you gaze long enough into the abyss, the abyss is also gazing into you. I thank you so much for joining me today and every day to share positive energy with me and all us wingmates because I know how important it is for me to start my day with a po on a positive note and practicing positivity and practicing raising my vibration because it's easy to slip up and, ha and fall back and fall into that rabbit hole, right? That's why I keep doing these practices every morning and that's why I appreciate you joining me and I look forward to seeing you more. If we can do something in person, great. If we can do something online together, great. In the meantime, I thank you for sharing positive energy with me. Have a wonderful day. One in which, you, if you're staring into the abyss, you recognize that you may be staring into it a little too long. So you stop staring at it because you don't want to allow it to become part of you. Have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow. Your wingman, Michael, from the wingman's path to positivity, signing off.